you have a lot of protective gear that must make it really slow for you to run. Yes, I am very careful about protection, you see. Okay, I love speed and adventure. But sometimes your adventures seem rather unnecessary. Why do you say that? Well, it seems even the order of evaluation of your expression is unspecified. Yes, that's true. Would you like to elaborate more for our viewers? Yes, sure. Consider this expression in C. I equals minus minus J plus K. While this expression computes a value, it also has side effects. It decrements J and assigns to I. These side effects to objects I and J can be applied at any time not deterministically during expression evaluation. Yes, but did you know that unspecified order of evaluation in C increases optimization opportunities for a compiler and the speed ups can be as high as 2.6x in real world code? Really? Yes. The algorithm to generate optimizations using such code patterns was contributed by researchers at IIT Delhi and their work appeared at PLDI 2020, a top tier conference in programming languages. Tell me more. Consider what happens if there are unsequenced evaluations that involve concurrent memory accesses to the same memory object. For example, in this expression i++ plus i, there is an update to i and a concurrent read on i. This situation is similar to a data race and is also called an unsequenced race. Such an expression is illegal in C upon evaluation. But now consider this expression, star p++ plus star q. This expression may or may not be legal depending on whether star p and star q refer to the same memory object or not. If star p and star q refer to the same memory object, the evaluation of this expression is illegal. But if star p and star q refer to different memory objects, then the evaluation of this expression is legal. Okay, so the evaluation of this expression is legal only for some input values of P and Q. Now consider this program. Here, there are two unsequent side effects on two quantities, star min and star max. From this, we can infer that for this program to have a legal evaluation, it must be true that star min does not refer to the same object as star max. In other words, min cannot be equal to max. This fact can be used by the compiler to register allocate star min and star max throughout the duration of the following loop, resulting in a speed up of 1.5x over already optimized code for this example. Interesting. Yes, these unspecified order of evaluation semantics are intended to expose parallelism in the program. The compiler that exploits this parallelism is called Oolala. So, do you get any speed ups on real world programs? Yes. The real-world impact is significant. On Polybench C benchmarks, we record up to 2.6x speedups. On industry standard spec benchmarks, there exist 5 to 23 expressions with unsequenced side effects per 1,000 lines of code. And Oolala infers up to 100,000 extra must not alias relationships in these benchmarks during compilation. But aren't you encouraging programmers to create programming patterns that are likely to have bugs? I mean, what about protection? The Oolala compiler includes a runtime sanitizer that checks whether the expressions are executing on the correct inputs or not. Programmers can use that to check the correctness of their program. Uh, you know what I want to say? What? Oolala! <laughs> <laughs>